Welcome to my zone online school. My name is teacher Mutsa. Get your education booklet in our daily newspaper, street sales, or at your school every Monday to Thursday for pre-primary up until grade three. The lessons are for listening or watching online. Inside the newspapers, there is an insert of the lesson booklet. Please cut the top of the lesson booklet with a pair of scissors and fold it for ready to use. But there is more. We are also available on our online platforms, MyZone and Zoshi Facebook pages, and in addition, our website, Zoshi Online. to my zone online school my name is teacher Mutsa and thank you so much for joining me today our theme this week is occupations and autumn and before we get into any lessons boys and girls we need to sanitize so when you sanitize please make sure that you are rubbing both of your hands Make sure that they both get the same amount of attention and sanitizer. Then you make sure that your hands are dry before you touch anything else. For today's lesson, we will be talking about creative writing and sums of 10 as well as shapes. Now for our exercise to start with, we are going to go to page nine. On page nine, we are going to be talking about creative writing, but not just any topic, my dear children. We are going to talk about what we want to become when we are adults and why. So here are a few examples of what you can become. We have a doctor, a police officer, a teacher, a firefighter, or a plumber. Now, you don't have to choose all of them. <laughs> no, 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 no. But just choose one. And if what you want to become is not there, that's okay. You can still write what you would like to become. So we're going to start our sentence with when I am an adult, I'd like to become a... And then you tell me what you want to be. So, let us all take our pencils and start with the first sentence. Now remember when we're starting any sentence, we start it with a capital letter. So, I am going to start with my capital letter W. And then I'm going to move on and say when I, capital letter, become, make sure that when you're writing boys and girls, that your handwriting is the same size. When I become an, then we have the word adult, adult or adult. When I become an adult, then we are going to put a comma. Remember, a comma looks like this, but it sits on the line. So there it is. When I become an adult, comma, I would like now as you can see i have no more space to write anything on the line so i go to the next line when i become an adult i would like 
Let's continue. To be a now this is the part where you are going to write what you want to be when you grow up there are so many different things that you can be you can be a teacher a lawyer an accountant an engineer a pilot a minister or the president it is up to you please write what you would like to be after these words so let us look at our sentence it says when I become an adult, I would like to be a, in my case, I'm already what I wanted to be. I wanted to be a teacher. So that is what I'm going to write. I am going to write teacher. Make sure that when you're writing your letters, they are all the same size, please, boys and girls, and that the spaces in between your words are also the same. I would like to be a teacher, full stop. So I have put a full stop to end my sentence. That means I have done one sentence. For you, you have to write five of them. So the first sentence we are all going to have as the same one. The only difference is that here is where you are going to write what you want to be. And then you are going to say a teacher or whatever you are, the job they do. Then you can write or start and say A, whatever it is that you want it to be. So I'm going to start with my capital letter A and then I'll write teacher because I want it to be a teacher. So I will continue to write my word teacher. A teacher what does a teacher do? <laughs> a teacher teaches people because I don't just teach little children. There are other people that I teach as well who are also adults. So a teacher teaches people. So I'm going to say a teacher, then I'm going to write the word teachers, just like a firefighter fights fires. A doctor heals people. A policeman protects people. And a plumber fixes pipes. So you need to know what exactly your adult you, when you are that person, is going to be doing. If you're not sure, you can always ask your parents what that person does. In this case, a teacher teaches people. So that is what I'm going to write. A teacher, then I'm going to write the word teachers. Now the rest of my sentence will not fit on the line. It just fits. So I'm going to say a teacher teaches and then I will move on to the next line and write people. Okay, there we are. Now, don't forget your full stop at the end. And when you are done with the sentence, I want you to tell me why you want to become a teacher or whatever you have decided to be doctor, a lawyer, a nurse, a pilot, whatever you want to be. If you want to be an engineer, that's okay. Please, boys and girls, make sure that when you're writing, it is very neat. You're going to tell me why you want to be that person when you're an adult and where they work. Take your time, have fun, and remember, boys and girls, you can be anything you want to be. Don't let anyone limit your future. I will see you soon after the advert break. Follow us on My Zone Facebook Active Kids to watch your daily lesson and other fun activities with Zoe and Zoshi. For our exercise now boys and girls, let's turn to page 10. On page 10 we are going to be doing 
sums of 10. This is when we make sums of 10 by drawing circles. Now when we mean sums of 10, we mean that the two numbers that we are going to use need to add up to 10. So the example we have been given is 5 and 5. So 5 and 5 will give us 10. Now it is our job to make sure that we find the other ones. So let's take a look at the board. Now on the board, I'm going to circle 5 and 5 just like they did in the book. Now we need to find others that have 5 and 5. And instead of using our fingers, you can also use your counters. If you use your counters for 5 and 5, you will know that you will get up to 10, even your fingers as well. So you have your counters to use and you have your fingers. The first one, I'm going to try and use the counters. So I need to first choose two numbers. You can circle either going across or you can circle going down. But before I circle, I need to check. I want to check if seven and three make 10. So I will use my counters. I'm going to say one, two, three on one side, and then I'm going to say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven on the other side. Now I need to add them together. I already know that this is seven on one side, so I'm going to count on with the counters on the other side. Eight, nine, 10. They do make 10. So 7 and 3 have the sum of 10. So I'm going to circle them. Now I'm going to try and look for other numbers. Let me try. Hmm. Let me try. How about I try? 9 and 1. So I am going to use my fingers this time. I have 9 fingers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. Here are my 9 fingers and I need to make 9 and 1 come up to 10. And all I need to do is add one more and I have 10. So it's true, nine and one do make 10. So I'm going to circle them as well. Let me try and find another one. How about two and eight? So that is the last one I'm going to do and the rest you're going to do by yourselves. Would you like me to use counters or would you like me to use my fingers? Hmm, I think I'm going to use my counters. So I have 10 counters here, but I want to make sure that they're going to get up to eight. So I'm going to say first, the two. One, two. So I've put two aside. Then I need to make sure that these are eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now I need to add them together. So I'm going to count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then I add on the other side, counting on nine, 10. They are 10. So that means two and eight together make 10. The rest of them, you're going to try and work out by yourselves. Remember, don't just circle before you try and figure out if the two numbers together come up to 10. So take your time, use your counters or your fingers or your number line. And when you are done with that, I'd like you to please go to page 11. On page 11, we are doing shapes. Today, we are going to talk about a particular shape. This shape is called a pentagon. Everyone, let's say pentagon. Pentagon. 
Now the pentagon looks like a very interesting shape as if there is a square and a triangle together. It's saying you use the drawing to answer the questions. The first one says how many sides does it have? Well, we have a pentagon here, so we are going to count the sides together. I'd like you to please look at the at the board. <laughs> now we have our pentagon here, so we are going to count the sides that we have. One, two, three, four, five. There are five sides. So I'd like you to please write five. And then it says, how are the sides the same length? Hmm, this one will now need you to take your ruler and I want you to check with your ruler if the sides are the same length. Then you are going to write either yes or no. And then after that, it is asking, how many triangles do you need to make a pentagon? Now, what you are going to do there is try and put as many triangles in the pentagon. Already, I've given you a clue that at least there's one triangle in the pentagon. So you need to look for the rest. Then after that, you are going to answer questions about the triangle and it's asking you to write the name of the triangle and then we have the square it is also asking you to write the name of the square then you are going to <laughs> write the circle the name is the circle. Then after that, you are going to write the name of the longest one, which is the rectangle. Make sure that you get the spellings correct. I'm going to show you the cards again. We have a triangle, triangle. And then the next one is a Square, square. After that, we have a circle, circle. And then we move on to the rectangle, rectangle. The rest of the questions I would like you to try by yourselves. Remember, shapes are different. So you might not get the same answer for each of the questions. So take your time, read them carefully and have fun. I will see you soon after the advert break. Do you have children in the age range of five to six years and want to participate in our school booklet program? Please contact us on 81 and we will put you on our distribution list for the attention of pre-primary schools. Topics include family, summer, culture, traditions and houses, transport and communications, occupations, autumn and more. We distribute countrywide in over seven different languages. We have now come to the end of our lesson, boys and girls, and I hope that you had fun. Remember, if you're not sure or you don't know, you can always ask an adult for help. Just make sure that you finish the exercises by yourself. So now we are done with our lesson. It's very important for us to sanitize. Make sure that you make sanitizing a regular thing. But if you do not have sanitizer all the time, you can wash your hands with soap and water as well. I wonder, I've not seen Sashi in a long time. Maybe he's outside. Oh, <laughs> there he is. Hello, Sashi. So, so from Sashi and I, we would like to say thank you for joining us today and goodbye.
Our online school will help you along the way. Find us at www.zoshi.online and download the booklet. Follow us on Facebook to never miss a video. Subscribe to our Zoshi Telegram channel if you want to receive daily updates. Proudly sponsored by the Ministry of Education, Arts and Culture, Namibian Community Trust, UNICEF, MyZone Online School, Amos Meerkat Syllabus and Capricorn Foundation.